Then it came to pass that Jesus, the Son of God, was to be born of Mary of Bethlehem of Judea. And as the glorious tidings spread through paradise, all of the angels rejoiced, and their voices were lifted to herald the miracle of miracles. The coming of the Christ child. angels and archangels, the seraphim and cherubim, the gatekeeper, the wingmaker, and yes, even the halo smith, they all put aside their usual tasks to prepare their gifts for the blessed infant. All but the littlest angel. He sat himself down on the topmost step of the golden stairs and anxiously waited for inspiration. What could he give that would be most acceptable to the Son of God? At one time, he dreamed of composing a lyric hymn of adoration. But the littlest angel was woefully wanting in musical talent. Then, then he grew tremendously excited over writing a prayer, a prayer that would live forever in the hearts of men because, because it would be the first prayer ever to be heard by the Christ child. Amen? Um, amen? Mm. Hallelujah? <laughs> amen? But the littlest angel was lamentably lacking in literate skill. What, oh, what could a small angel give that would please the holy infant? The time of the miracle was very close at hand when the littlest angel at last decided on his gift. And then, on that day of days, he proudly brought it from its hiding place behind a cloud. And humbly, with downcast eyes, placed it before the throne of God. It was only a small, rough, unsightly box. But inside were all those wonderful things that even a child of God would treasure.